Good morning, this is Deborah Cargo coming to you live from Valdosta, Georgia. I am now walking by Faith Ministry and I am going to be doing our daily devotion on this Saturday morning, July 13th, 2019, on the Saturday morning. Cowards are only one touch from God away from becoming courageous preachers with great power. What must we do to be saved? That's quite a response from the people who crucified Jesus only weeks earlier. Was it Peter's sermon? Well, I don't want to take away from the moment of profound bravery. Peter preached under an open heaven. Hallelujah. The, this atmosphere... Long years I had built in my life was going on and I did I heard about Calvary. Then I knelt down in prayer. The Lord made me there. Now Jesus, he's living in me. He is in my feet when I'm walking, in my tongue, when I'm talking, in my eyes, and now I can see. He's in the song that I'm singing. In my heart, his joy is ringing. Jesus is living in me. He has brought me to the top of the mountain and over life's trouble, trouble sea. Now I sing for his glory, song that tells the great story called Jesus. It's living in me. He's in my feet when I'm walking, in my tongue when I'm talking, in my eyes, and now I can see. He's in the songs that I'm singing. In my heart, his joy is ringing. Jesus is living in me. He's in my feet when I'm walking. In my tongue when I'm talking. In my eyes, and now I can see. He's in the song that I'm singing. In my heart, his joy is ringing. Jesus is living in me. Yes, my Jesus is living in me. I'm not doing that, y'all. Oh, 
Jesus. Yeah, Jesus is living in me. No. I had it all set up while ago, now I can get it together. I get in there. Take my medicine for one thing. Praise the Lord. No! What is going on here? You're picking out the own picture, ain't you, Lord? Praise the Lord. But it's not related to the Bible study. Praise the Lord. Take my one picture. I got to get it shrink, shrink it up a little bit. And I can 
can't walk upon the water or the raging sea. Oh, but I, I know a man And I can't cause the blind eyes to open or make the lame to walk again. But I know a man who can. See, I can't walk upon the waters. I can't call those raging seas. But I know a man. Find eyes to open or make the lane to walk again. Uh. But I know that man oh, yes. who There are some of you watching by television right now or the internet or listening by radio and the situation has turned grim for you. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to go. You might say, Brother Swaggart, nobody can help me. Yes, there's one who can. There's one who can. I received a letter a little bit ago and a brother wrote, he said, Brother Swagger, just a few hours ago, I walked across a stage 
at one of the most prestigious universities in the world and got my PhD. That's the highest educational attainment that one can come by. He said, I had to write and say thank you because four years ago, he said, I was so strung out on drugs. Everything was gone. I was shooting needles under my tongue. And I turned on that black and white TV set. And something got a hold of me that morning. Changed my life. Changed my heart. I'm going to ask Gracie to sing that second verse again. And I want you to just believe the Lord. And he'll come to your rescue. He'll help you. He'll touch you if you'll allow him to do so. <laughs> 